Johnson Matthey is the world's largest secondary refiner of platinum group metals. We have developed highly advanced processes for extracting and separating platinum group metals, or PGMs, from products. So advanced, we can refine to a purity of 99.95%. With refining sites and trade operations in Europe, North America and Asia, we offer complete refining solutions with a full refined supply cycle. Our technical support teams work with our customers to provide the best possible refining options. As well as being the world's largest recycler of PGMs, we're one of the only companies able to undertake full seven metal separation, helping you to recover platinum, palladium, rhodium, iridium, ruthenium, silver and gold. We process a wide range of feeds, from spent process catalysts and auto-catalyst scrap to secondary mine residues and jewellery products. And with our precious metal management support, we offer a completely tailored service to help mitigate risk in volatile markets. Refining is a highly complex process which requires a deep understanding of material science, pyrometallurgy, multi-stage chemical separations, and analytical science. Our process involves four steps, evaluation, smelting, chemical leaching, and chemical separation. Evaluation is a critical stage in our PGM refining process. During this step, we determine the material's PGM content and agree with the customer the quantity or value of PGM we will return to them, as well as establishing the lead time. Material tracking is crucial. All customer batches are uniquely barcoded to ensure full traceability during evaluation. We are able to process bulk material to generate a representative homogeneous sample, from which we can accurately determine the PGM content through assaying. Metallic feeds undergo multiple meltings to evenly distribute their constituents and a small sample is produced for a laboratory assay. For other customer feeds, generally in a powder form, the PGMs and other components may not be evenly dispersed across the whole batch and the material may not be of equal particle size. Therefore, during evaluation, we grind the material first to reduce and equilibrate the particle size and then blend it to produce a homogeneous dispersion of components from which we can take a sample for assaying. In this way, our assay will yield a true representation of the bulk material. Spent process catalyst feeds are thermally treated to remove any residual organic solvents before moving to the grinding and blending steps. Materials typically undergo several grinding stages to reduce the particle size. And we have a range of crushers, ball and pan mills for this. The entire batch is then blended in our cone blenders. We then begin scaling down the full batch by relative weight percentage to produce a smaller sample for assaying. This smaller sample is further blended in a drum blender before being passed through a spinning riffle splitter, which separates the feed into non-biased samples of nominal 1.6 kilograms. One of these samples is then sieved, ground to a finer particle size, blended and separated once more into 16 smaller samples, three of which are assayed in our laboratories. Samples can also be sent to our customers or their nominated third party for comparative measurement against our assay. In the labs, a complex series of melting and chemical processing steps transform the powdered and metallic samples into samples for analysis. Spectroscopic techniques are used to accurately determine the PGM content of the customer's original material. At this stage, we agree the final contractual terms with the customer. Once terms are agreed, feeds are no longer handled on a customer-by-customer -customer basis, but are combined into larger batches for smelting. In this pyrometallurgical process, the material is melted at temperatures of over 1200 degrees for around 12 hours in large reverberatory furnaces 
to separate the non-metallic components. At the end of a smelting cycle, the furnace is tapped and the non-metallic slag portion is sampled and poured off first. The PGM containing portion is then collected and a sample is analysed to check the PGM concentration. This PGM bullion undergoes additional processing in our smaller furnaces to further concentrate the PGMs prior to chemical leaching. Two types of bullion feed are produced, a silver-based feed containing primarily platinum and palladium with trace amounts of rhodium, iridium and ruthenium and an iron-based feed which contains all five of the PGMs. The two bullion feeds then move to our chemical leaching plant, where they undergo multiple leachings to further concentrate the PGMs into solution. The silver-based bullion is suspended in concentrated acid to slowly leach the silver, platinum and palladium into solution and separate out any gold which is sent for further refining. Silver is removed and further treated to make products used in a variety of applications. A resulting concentrate of platinum and palladium is then dissolved in strong acid. The iron-based bullion is also acid leached, but follows a different chemical treatment route, given the different solubilities of the five PGMs that it contains. At this stage, we have the two distinct liquid feeds, which both pass to the final refining step, chemical separation. Chemical separation is a highly complex multi-stage process that converts the five PGMs into their final product forms, commonly a PGM sponge. It involves a series of solvent extraction, evaporation, dissolution, precipitation and filtration steps to produce highly pure organometallic salts of each PGM. These salts then undergo several heat treatment steps to reduce them to the final pure metal. We pride ourselves on our ability to refine the full suite of precious metals from a wide variety of customer feeds, containing a range of PGM concentrations. As a result, following evaluation, customer material may be introduced into the refining cycle at various stages, and feeds are continually recirculated to ensure we deliver the very highest levels of PGM separation.